Hello everyone and welcome to Shard TCG. Today I'm going to be showing you how I do my lightning effects in Inkscape. So if you're wanting to learn that then stay tuned. I'm going to start with a very very quick example just so you understand the method and then we're going to go into a slightly more intricate example after that. Okay so the quick example we're just going to do a very simple lightning bolt like so. Maybe give it a little split there, make it kind of exciting. There we go, right, so there's our lightning bulb. Very simple, very basic. So I'm gonna go with yellow today. We're gonna to have some yellow lightning. Okay, so I just want like that, and then we've got this blur setting. So all I want to do is increase this blur to about 36, into 30s, maybe 40s, and then duplicate it. Bring it down, duplicate it. Bring it down duplicate it, bring it down, and then change the last one to white, and there you have it, there you've got your lightning. So I end the last one with about, in the sixes, maybe sometimes in the five, if you want your sharper lightning. If it's more in the background, up the blur, and then have something in the foreground, and then you, you're done, really. So that's a very simple example of how to do lightning. Now, another thing I just want to add is clouds. So you can add some really nice clouds. I like to use an effect that's already pre-installed on Inkscape, right? So we make our cloud like so. Oh, look, we've already got the uh, a nice tone there. I'm using a gray background, so the white uh, didn't contrast with it. So that's the, so we'll go with the white cloud just because it will contrast better with the gray background. So now we want to go to filters go down to textures and go to ink blot. Now with this, we can click live preview right here. And you can see it's already starting to come together, but this cloud's a little bit messy. So I want to lower the frequency, bring that right down. Um, the complexity, I like it very detailed. Okay, so I brought these two down to zero. So what I want to do with the horizontal inlay and the vertical inlay is bring up the vertical just a bit so it starts to feather these outside parts. But with the horizontal inlay, I like to have it a lot more blurred. So it gives the impression that the cloud is coming across, it's moving horizontally rather than vertically. Where if it was the opposite way around, it, it's kind of messy that way. So you, you understand that there we go. So you've got like a nice piece of mass in the middle there and it feathers more around the outside there. As for displacement, you can see what that'll do. It'll just make it a big mess. So you want that displacement quite low. Depends how you how you like your clouds. But uh, I like mine just a little bit fluffy, normally about there. We can apply that. Now what you can do as well is darken this right down and take the alpha off a bit, like so. And then duplicate it again. I didn't explain before, a quick way to duplicate rather than just right clicking, clicking duplicate is just control D. Very handy to know. Okay, so we put a few clouds here and there, and then one there, but then you can see lighten this cloud, even add a little bit of yellow. And if I bring that to the back, there we go. It looks like the, the bottom of the cloud is just being lit up a bit by the lightning that's coming out. So there is a very quick example of how to do a simple lightning bolt with the effect that I like to use and the cloud effects. Now I'll be moving on to the next part of the video where I'm just going to do some more intricate lightning. So we can keep the clouds, but we just want to get rid of this lightning. So goodbye lightning. All right. Um, so for more intricate lightning, what I would just say is just go go with what you feel. Where, where's the lightning trying to reach to? So you could do one massive lightning bolt actually, rather than having it spread out wide. So, because we've already done a spread one, I'll, I'll do the, the lightning bolt. Okay, so, all right, and then, it's, and then it hits the bottom here. Maybe we do like a little splash. You don't have to do this. Uh, I normally have it end up going behind something, but, just, just for fun effects, we're going to try this out. I actually haven't tried this before, so I'm going a bit off script here. 
have the main bolt go through. So picture you've got one main bolt that goes through and then every now and then you want this little sharp bit that comes out like this and it'll make sense in a moment. Okay, so that doesn't look much like lightning, does it? It's not very good. But we're going to start adding little intricate things and it's going to make it look a little bit more like lightning. So lightning has little arcs that add a lot of detail to it. So what we like to do is create a shape within the lightning like this. And then selecting both the lightning bolt itself, which uh, there we go, we already had. And then we go to path and then difference. And then you can see we've got this little this little arc that comes out here. Now what makes these very pretty is when you have it go the opposite way as well. Hang on. Let's see. In case I've just messed this up. Let's find out. So difference, right. And then from there we start tweaking this a bit more to make the, the arc look more deliberate. So we've got this piece of lightning going through and weaving a little bit. Um, this bit probably not as necessary, but we could leave like a little spike there. I think that's fun. You know, the lightning needs a bit of creative shape. Uh, but I really want to do another one of these. So what I'm going to do is, oh, there we go. I'm going to stick this out, maybe give it a, maybe a sharper one. We'll go with a sharper one because we've already got this bit here. So I'm just going to tweak that there. Now let's see if this works. I think that needs to be a bit more there, but I think we've got something. Okay, so make sure this is very thin, by the way. The thinner it looks, the better it is. Okay, so we've got that bit there, and then we select both of them. The way we select both of them as well, because I haven't given an example of that, right? You click on one, and then you control and click on the next piece that you want. So let's uh, make this. I'll show it works. Okay, so I've got that one. So control. Oh, no, it's not control. Sorry, it's shift. Sometimes it's just muscle memory. So you have to think about uh, what you're doing. <laughs> okay. So we shift and click and now we have both and then I'm just gonna move these bits down here, trying to create that arc there. This is very straight, so I'm just going to double click on some of the pathways and create a few more nodes just to fancy it up a bit. Yeah, we could have it, have it like veer off a little bit, you know. So now we've got these bits here like so. Okay, so let's see if this works with the splash at the bottom because like I say, I haven't tried this before. What we do again, we go to blur and we blur it right out. Let's go to 37. And then we're going to go to 24 and then we're going to go to a 13 and then we're going to go right down to a 5.7 that looks good we'll put that in looking very nice and then i've selected all of them and i'm going to click the end button just to throw it behind the clouds now you could create multiple layers but i'm just going to throw it behind the clouds that way in just a lazy way the way you would move it to a multiple layer though is, um, let's see, we can just go below layer two. You can always name your layers. So that could be lightning layer. And then you just click move to layer, lightning layer. So I've got this going off the screen a bit. So I'm just gonna shrink it down for you. Add it there. So we've got a nice lightning splash, but you can always do the option of creating like a nice silhouetted land right here. So we're going to do this. I'm go I've just I was just going to make lightning today, but I'm going into a full scenery. Um blue tones are very nice, not very strong, but a nice blue tone there. And then we can do a small mountain here. Bring that back. And then that would be a little bit darker. And then we can do another mountain there just to cover that splash there. If you decide that you don't want the splash, the splash isn't for you. There we go. So now we've got some nice mountain areas. The lightning strike is hitting just behind the mountain. 
You can even choose to just add some little trees. Okay, so we've got that tree. We want it to blend with that. Bring it right down. Show that the lightning bolt is absolutely huge. And we'll just, we'll put a few of them up on there. And then you want a couple just here and there like so. And then you could even bring some over here. But then remember to change the tone with the background. I went very off topic because I was just doing lightning like I say. And then there we go. And then you've, you've got a little bit of scenery there. Now, because this is in the distance, you might want to just blur it up a little bit like this. Just so it isn't taking away too much attention from this massive lightning bolt that we're showing off. And then, of course, you can always just put in a nice background as well. Bring that to the last layer. Now we're really showing off there. Uh, we're really showing off that cloud layer now. Okay, so what we want to do is do this. Maybe you want to use the linear gradient. So then you just grab this side, bring that up to snuff, and we could even we could even add a red tone. I like a I like a little bit of red. Looks more menacing. So you bring that red tone down there. You've got the dark blue up there. And wow, look at that. Now we've got something, okay, got something special. Um, I'm just gonna increase this layer and bring up, bring up the alpha, just so we've got some more clouds working around. And I'm just gonna keep duplicating these. Remember, Control D to duplicate. And then lower the alpha right down and just cover up some of those little patches. This will really slow down your machine if you do this enough, so be careful. But there's just, just a quick example of how to do a lightning drawing. The, the lightning's still a little bit showing off there, so you really want just a nice strong cloud just to help cover that up, if anything. Ooh, there we go. Yeah, I can bring that up a bit. I keep grabbing the wrong cloud, right? So we've got, we're gonna have a little cheek cloud there just to cover things up. And then what you might wanna do with the cheek cloud is go back to the linear gradient and you can always add a little bit of yellow at the bottom there just to try and show off a blend. Uh, maybe brighten it up a bit. You could even go towards white to make it pop next to the yellow. So let's see how that looks, right? So that's very noticeable now. Um, maybe bring it down a little bit. And yeah, I'd say that's good. It's a little bit jarring. Add a few more just to blend it, but uh, it works, it works. So if, I mean, if you don't like the red background as well, we can, always, we can always really darken the tone down, but I find blue backgrounds can just be a little bit boring sometimes. You could go yellow, nice and bright, but then you want you want to drag this right down to bring the blue in. Oh, but then it starts mixing with the green. Uh, it starts mixing with the yellow and making green. So it's up to you how you want to do the background. But there, that's that's the lightning. So you can see we've got like these nice little arcs here and there. It stops the lightning just from being like very, very singular, very boring. Okay guys, so that is my lightning art tutorial. I really hope that helped. You can put a lot more time into this and create it a little bit more intricate than I had, but I've shown how quickly and easy it is to create lightning. I quite like doing lightning. I wish all the creatures that I made in TCG were lightning creatures because I think the lightning just looks amazing. It always pops and it looks great on TCG cards. Okay, and if you haven't already, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.